here. So we are on this alert one to win on the warm up problem there. I think our multiple problems. I have actually done this before, so this will be fun. So the idea is it's got a little bit of JavaScript code there, and so it's generating um, some HTML incorrectly, and you need to prove that by getting it to execute the JavaScript function alert one, which is going to pop up the box page. Hey, please, man, what happened? Oh, it was, hey, we got first, we innovated our way to first place in index. There you go. <laughs> it was, it's because you weren't there, Adam. I wish you would probably be useless. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Uh, well, Dr. Huang just sat in the, uh, uh, what's it called, like the outside room mm -hmm. for awesome. so like 12 hours. A lot of fun for me. Yeah. Thanks for right. recommending me for that. Oh, no problem. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely no. not do that. shell, you can download the jar file. Uh, and then you can make it executable. We're working on web stuff, so we're doing... Let's go with... I don't think you need burp. Uh, no, you can bring your computer next time. Just do stuff with a computer. It's <laughs> a hands-on. Thing. So, type stuff in the input. What does it do? And you can actually see the output that it's doing right below. Okay, so, what's up, Will? Thank you. What are you doing, Kate? I'm not giving you a. Good. You weren't at the. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Don't say anything you don't want to be on YouTube. Hi, people. Woohoo! Edgy. Uh, you guys are going to get pizza provided to you by your president? Yes. Oh. His pizza. Tell the people you give them. Oh, the voting? Yeah. Is that part of the vote? The, did you get voted in or what? Did I get... Uh, like, you did. Like... votes in May or something. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. We need to re-vote. It was... Re-vote? Yeah. Oh, but pizza. You get pizza. Vote for me. I give you pizza. Why so much cheese pizza? Uh, you know, it's because... I didn't know I was I was it was a split second oh. decision because I actually got this pizza last week, right? But our meeting last week didn't actually happen because as I found out, nobody would be here to actually lead the meeting. So I paid for the pizza. We can still meet though. I'm still come by. Well, no, I wasn't gonna be here. I wasn't gonna be here. Emmanuel wasn't gonna be here. Eric wasn't gonna be here, and Adam wasn't gonna be here. And so we were just, I was just like, well, if nobody's, if we're not going to like learn something new, then, because if, if Emmanuel or I was here, we could do something. Did you write that? So is this a website? Yeah. I don't think Mark executed that. Not in you. I think the way to exploit this is like the, and the other one. I think I need to. Is it this one? Uh, exit. Yeah. Put it here? Yes. Put it here. Uh, do you uh, exit navigate that? to this? No, you just exit. Go to your actual machine. So, do so, you just have an exit? I'll walk this out. What are we doing today? You never can. Yeah, if it doesn't, uh, exit. Exit. Uh, do you sudo app yet? Install open JDK. Open, open, <laughs> open JDK. Uh, good, space. good, good, good. Because I tried that. Tap, 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 tap. Some of that. Tap, tap, tap. Good, that's like the 7.jre. Suck. But they're cool. Yeah, do I? Oh. You just put the type in 7. And seven. Yeah. Dash. Tag and web. Dash. Is that after our meeting? Yeah. After our staff's meeting? Yeah. This was today, this morning, that I oh, or no, no, we need to scare you. Are you? Uh, right afterwards, yeah. I got a phone call from him, and I was talking to him outside. Okay. So with OpenDK, uh, it will so, uh, uh, what, what exactly are we doing? Instead of open, open it's a bracket. Alf dot nu slash alert. Alert one. Break. <coughs> I think we know, I don't know that we know it's process scripting, but it's process scripting. So you need to get it all the alert one function. So, Oh, look at this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
I think this is the. I just sat down and looked at this. Mm -hmm. That uh, the CTF that we did like the other week, uh, where it was that percent zero B, really made me mad. Because I tried that too. I tried that too, but I didn't have like the right. Oh God. And then. Or that I tried that. <laughs> this looks really ugly. Now this, else. That looks way too ugly for this. Hey Ryan. Yeah, there's an easier way to do I it. Think yeah. <laughs> so try and think of it. That's ugly. Try and let it feel. But if it works, move uh, on to the next uh, one. Not true. <laughs> I'll show you the elegant, pretty way to do it. Here's what to think about. If you think about what's your actual goal with those things. I was trying to end, to get trying to end that, make a new one and complete that one. Right, so to, but to start the new one, right, is to execute some new JavaScript, yeah. right? But you're already here in JavaScript, so why use all that if you want to do it? Oh, I see what you're saying. In the console.log, call it. Or is that you have to close You have to close this method, right? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. I think you need to make sure about what's that. Yeah. I think that it tells you once you get it. Oh, because I didn't do this. Yeah, it should just it'll just automatically do it. Yeah, exactly. You'll know when you do it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I have too many random script tags. Mm. Yeah, so it I did that too. Yeah. And I looked at yours and I was like, I got this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I was thinking. Yeah, that's why it's called warm up. How do you get to the next one? Is it just alert two, probably? Yeah. Oh, wait. Enter in your name here. And then yeah, I guess we chase on. <laughs> well, it j yeah, it doesn't look like it's nice. Yeah, exactly. but it tastes I amazing. JSON that string of five. What's what? JSON that string of five. What was that? There's actually more SQL injection. That's a really good thing. Oh, it's, it's something we should probably figure out. Yeah. Well, I'm doing the Adobe one. This is Adobe. Yeah. This is what. It seems. What's the difference between the two? This part right here. I don't. Are you allowed to see user score? It was good though. It was functionality. <laughs> it 
like. Is there different between the two cheeses? Wait, is there two cheeses? Oh, I thought there were two pepperonis. No, it's JavaScript. Oh, well, they messed up. Two different types. What's level two? That's a good question. Is it? The, I think it's the other two. Yeah, I don't. I think. No, no, no. There's you see warm up at the like top right, or it's at the very bottom. There should be an Adobe and a JSON one as well. You just scroll down to the bottom, like add your name, and then it like kind of jumps you to the next one. What do you mean jump to the next one? It kind of just loaded a new page inside there. It didn't like change the URL. Oh. It kind of just takes you. I think it adds cookies and stuff, and it just takes you to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Do you have a pen? Is that an option to put the stairs to? Carlos was mentioning. No, I would say no. The stairs here are horrible. Oh, it like adds and escapes characters, which is. Annoying. Which one? <laughs> the string of five. Mm, oh, well, oh, I'm, I think I can, ex I can. I think I can escape the backslash, and that oh, now yeah. becomes part of the string. Yeah. But the problem comes with this other one. So no, it says win. Oh, we can get into like. Oh, okay. Start on that website. All right. I guess probably you are in Cody's old friend. Uh, I don't know. Are you doing this? Because this is just looking for that. So I'm assuming. Oh, it's looking for. I stop with place. Oh, is it? So I wonder if once. Oh no, I'm just watching. No, you didn't see this. What did you do? A percent sign 22 instead? A percent sign 22? No, it just takes that. No, this should be fine, yeah? Well, no, so the problem is like the, the script is invalid because you're escaping that double quotes. You're not ending the log. Yes, but I'm escaping the... Well, see, it turns the single quote into a double backslash <laughs> quote. Oh wait, that should escape. Oh yeah, and right. so I'm yeah. doing another backslash. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that makes more sense. And so, well, no, no. So the double backslash isn't right. I need to do something to escape that. console.log prints output to the log so if you if you do like control shift i and then open up the inspector in a chrome you can then click on log and that's where the json logs go there's a there's a json console in the web browser and that's where console.log goes Copy that output, so create a new HTML file on your machine, put that output so in there, and then open it up in a browser, browser and see if it actually pops up. Right, JS, you mean? On the console? What, uh, what browser are you using? Firefox. Uh, right click it. There should be a tab that says console. Somewhere. Oh, okay. Just an error character. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is helpful. This is their first meeting, they're already ahead of all of you. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We're not ahead of ringers or what? Let's see. Thought they came here for the pizza, but I don't think they would drop all the bombs. Yeah, so maybe it doesn't work for the fire box. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the no, the console dot log isn't running anything. It's just printing output to the console. Same thing as like a printf in C or. Oh, okay, I see. Mm, no, my backslash idea is not right. Oh, did you find something? I can't escape that. That's, and I think you need that backslash there. Okay, click OK. And right click. Yep. How do I run it after I give it a command? It automatically does it. Oh, well, so I was Neither are we. Probably. Like this, yeah. I'm on the Adobe one, I'm not on the uh, first one. Oh, I'm on the first one. I don't know how the. How'd you get to the second one? Yeah, I correct. I beat the first one. Uh, yeah, it's because it's already in there, so you should play around with uh, uh, what you can do with the string inside of there. But there's a better way to do it? So if I just type hello, we should put it out to the conference. Yes. The way is the way that works. I'm not even getting hello. Let's see. Uh, oh, don't hit enter. Know that it actually works. Okay. It. Hit backspace. It actually does work, so it wasn't, uh, it wasn't accidental in the sense that it let's see. didn't work. The What's it saying wrong. there? Do you have structure? another... Hit hit the yeah, delete right. key a bunch of times. Yeah, hit backspace. The backspace? Yeah, and then... Yeah, now type hello. Edit that HTML file. Remove that slash. I want to see if that slash has anything to do with it. Yeah. See, it's printing hello there out at the bottom here. Oh, here? Where? Yeah, look, at, look at your console. Oh, but it doesn't print in here because the test frame. Yeah, oh, nothing happens in the test frame. Okay. I don't think so. Unless you were to tell it to, like... So how do you know you're going to go to the next level? Uh, you have to call alert one, and then it'll automatically... You'll, there's a big page that says, like, you broke it. So once you get it, yes, yeah, JavaScript. Yeah, look at look at how the tags are closing. Try using a quotation mark in parentheses and look at what the actual output is in the code. See if you can. Yeah. In parentheses. And yeah. Yeah. Just just. Play around with it. See if you can get the. See if you can. Uh, uh, you can line up multiple JavaScript commands in a single line uh, by separating them with a semicolon. So if you did the log console semicolon alert one semicolon like log console, that would probably. Which one? I can't see very well. Yeah, that's semicolon. Yeah. Uh, yes, if it was valid Java, that won't do the challenge. You have to look at how they're doing their syntax. Uh, but that's the general gist of things. No. It's like, I'm so, I feel like I'm so close. Am I getting closer? Uh, my console. Alert like uh, you don't need quotes with the one. Well, no, but I can't get rid of the other section of quotes. Yeah, what is what's the alert function doing? Uh, so like if I do the Wait, where was I? Uh, wait, why is it returning? Uh, colon alert way. Oh, no, I need this. Yeah, I need to escape that slash there. Call alert. Hey, those guys already passed the level. Actually, super cool that you can see the output right when you're doing it. Yeah, that's pretty. How do I clear the console? Yeah. 
I have absolutely no idea. Web development is not my strong suit. I can't figure out how to do escape the thing. Do do yet? It's really sad. If you can, this is not. I'm not good at this. I'm trying That's very why we hard. Do this. That's exactly why we do this to learn. But there's ah, that pesky escape mark. I thought about escaping the backslash. We need to. I need to put what did something. That, just do? that. Well, that. But if that worked, this should still print out. Or it should just print out hello. It shouldn't print out the entire thing. Um, right, because this is printing out hello because it's in between two things of the console log. So if I put a backslash here, that should put out. So if I did a, because the problem is this, if I do a backslash there, it should print out hello and then percent 34. Uh, but look at this console.log. You have console.log slash slash, like, that's, is that valid JavaScript right there? Probably not, but there's the, I need to find a way how to deal with that slash to close the thing. How did we do SQL injections? How did we do SQL injections? How did we do, oh, there you go. God, Adam, why? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I know. I know. Uh, right? How do you do that? It's just. It's two slashes. Two forward slashes. So it should be. If I just do this. You can run a S up inside of it. Yeah. Run S up Yeah. What do we do for C? We close the quotes and brackets. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh. Adam, why was that the solution? <laughs> why hadn't I thought of that? You gotta use your knowledge and all these different contexts. See the same tricks work. It's it's empty in here, Adam. It's empty. Let me get to the next one. Oh, but then you click the thing. What thing? You click 
It's you click the, the thing. Oh, we have to click this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait. So we're fifty-seven. Why do I keep crushing the same two levels? I don't understand it. It's so easy. No, it's not good. That part's not. Oh, well, this is just new levels every time. So yeah. It just keeps popping. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay, so that's the same thing for the JSON one, then probably. We just have to, we just have to add comments. No. How did I get Oh, so it opened up two different IC houses. I thought it was sequential. That's why I was confused. It gave us two different ones. Mm. Yeah, this makes sense now. Okay. I'm smart. Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, please tell me. I have mine if you need it. Uh, I might. I might. Oh, it looks like I have mine now. Thank God. Dude, I was just like... Okay, so for the, for the stringify one, we will have to... How are you doing? Still on one? Oh. Almost there? I think you have an idea? Are you on the Adobe one or the warm-up one? Let me see. This is what your browser is interpreting, right? That's what your browser gets as HTML, and it interprets it. Yeah, but it's going to print out a string. See what happens when you. way with all the script tags. Because I just end the script tag and start my own just whoops. Well how did you well I thought I was trying this, right? Where I did the backslash Well no because first you have to first you have to uh wait, is it still messed up? No. Whatever. So you still have to you have to finish the first one which you do by escaping the paren. So, yeah. so yeah, now you're there. So now you have to end the script tag. Because I end the script tag so that I essentially oh, cut I off, I cut out the right hand side of this. Mm -hmm. And I start a new one. But your console output should be much different right now. You don't have a program at all? I just closed it and ran. 
that is um, I need to do one more. No. No? This part, it's displaying. Oh, you did, their first one's not in, your first so one's a new one, that's your problem. You have to end, you end oh. that one first. Yeah. I didn't, I thought I did. Oh. Why did that work, though? I guess, I guess this doesn't, okay. This is fine, because it doesn't necessarily need to print out a valid string, it just needs to end. Okay. I want to attack it the same so way, close. but that I don't think is going to help us. I think what we have to do is this is concatenating an empty string. Okay, I'll just literally type this out. What about that? That is an end of line character. I thought that you had to at the end of a line, or it's not. Yeah, you're right. There's no end line there. So that should work. That should work. take your other idea out. So let's say start there, right? Instead of concatenating, what do you need starting here to stop that that console dot log? What's the same document that body of pen child A? So it's making an element out of Yeah, so it's making a link. And then it's like you're trying to concatenate things, but it's making a link your other idea. Yeah. So element A. Yeah, but the problem is is that A won't okay, so it should be making a equals your URL. Yeah. So this double quote matches that so double quote, right? A houses the URL, but usually A like encompasses but some other element that and makes that element clickable. Yeah. If I cover up all of this, is that valid? So then it's clicking A. So we need to click A and execute yes. JavaScript. Yeah. What you have here is why I thought I was typing. Script. These two are. I don't yeah, know about this third one. Exactly. What's wrong? What's missing? Script. Uh, maybe. Well, I guess not. There you go. So that's all valid JavaScript, but now what's this plus at the beginning of this line? That's mm. not good. I probably need to have nothing. So it appends it to like the very end and then makes it clickable. Now we have good up until there. Now we have an additional plus there. Do we need that? No. That's good, but now look at what we have here. Afterwards, we have a garbage, which is not a valid JavaScript. Exactly. So what do we need this JavaScript to get into this page through the A dot guy, through that A? We have to like erase the first part of this string. No, no, no. no. So if I did, if I did this, if I went to Google.com. Right, because what it's doing is I don't think the console dot the console dot log doesn't help us at all, but it is taking this URL that we're producing, which is this console dot log, and making it the href. Yeah, but the problem is the href includes JavaScript. Uh, <laughs> the, the URL includes this JavaScript code. Yeah, log, yeah, yeah. So we don't want that going into the URL. Wait, copy this yeah. and refresh this page. Spaces in between those. I mean, after, yeah. Okay, you could try that. Yeah. 
So do single quote, no, single quote, and then friend. And then, so let's refresh it. What was escape? Oh, those escapes multiply. No, 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 it's a single quote, because they use a single quote up here. That single quote's for this. Oh, oh no. Yeah, this J on the string of five, you know, is in here, it makes these double quotes, mm -hmm. which are, oh, so like, I can't, I can't end that. We have to somehow append. You have blood all the time. Oh. I s the the actual vulnerability is that I s oh and then uh, do another console.log after it. Oh, put a put a uh, semicolon. Uh, and then close the friend. Right, but then at the you need a semicolon before here. Get get rid of the JavaScript itself. Yeah. My browser, I had to like reset my browser. What'd you have to do? I, I don't know. I was working on the uh, it was using Firefox, Firefox, and, and then then it, it wasn't Chrome updating and all. It wasn't yeah, what's up? Yeah, try Chrome. Yeah. Because yeah. that's definitely it. Yeah. Actually, I think you had the addition with the No, that's for you know, that's for Adobe. Addition, yeah, that's what uh, right. yeah. For Jason, uh, try whatever you think might work, because it'll probably work. Uh, spoiler alert. Oh, no, I told you the wrong one. Never mind. Uh, also, there may be some problems in Firefox I've seen on Linux, <laughs> FYI. Okay, I got that. Maybe not do one. Mm. Or I think we're all caught up on the first. I'll go for it. I'm not confident. But oh, go for it, Vu. I believe in you. So you closed a. Yeah. You just oh. closed a quote. So do a one double quote. Plus. Alert one. And plus. Uh, close the other quote. Oh, Firefox, you're the worst. <laughs> It is Firefox. Firefox is terrible. Yeah, is Firefox. yeah. I switched to Chrome. <laughs> Nobody said anything. <laughs> Nobody says anything. Oh, we're putting on everything you can. It's so scary. Probably a good thing that it's like I'm just doing this. Yeah. Mm. It depends on why. So maybe. <laughs> it's probably not doing it for security reasons. <laughs> Doesn't want to be kidding. I mean, it's probably the website is coded and using something that. Coming into a website is really would not accept. Yeah. Yeah. That's about four times. 
time shorter than mine. <laughs> Mine's 47 long, that's 12. <laughs> Placing the double quote with a slash double quote. The replace is a regular expression, so it's searching for every single quote. Yeah. And isn't it replacing it with two slashes and then a double quote? No, one slash. And one slash. Quote. It's backslashing it so it actually works. A backslash exactly. and a double quote. Okay, be very quick. My computer's about to die. <laughs> so sad. Um, so we can see that here. So it's replacing this single quote character with a double quote with a slash double quote. So how can we do it? Escape. The escape. Escape the escape. Escape from the escape. So we, if we put a slash, we see that it outputs just a slash. Right? And we can see that we don't have. Uh, so we can do slash. What? Quote. quote. Double quote. So this slash slash will be a slash. And so this double quote will actually be a double quote that matches the first double quote. So we've escaped their slashing here. Then, now, but now we have an syntactically invalid sentence here, or JavaScript code. So now how do we actually execute code? Close the paren, type your command, or semicolon. And then we don't care about the rest of the line, so we can comment it out. Uh, forward slashes. Oh, yeah. wow. Gotcha. Oh, that's so like the shortest like single injection. Can you put a plus instead of the closing parentheses and the semicolon? Yes. So, the I did it the that's other way. Can you do a plus sign before the other? Is the word in there? Is the word in there? No, because it doesn't close. You have to. No, no, no. I think you can after. if you get rid of the slash. Get rid of the slash start at the end. Yeah, you have to. No, get rid of the slash at the start. And add a plus at the end of the alert. Two plus. Well, yeah. well, well, no, oh, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the first. Yeah, no, get rid of that slash. You don't need that slash. And then get rid of the slash at the beginning. Uh, no, no, no. You're missing a plus. Get rid of the paren at the very end. <laughs> put a plus in there. And then put a plus. No. No? no? This is, the, all, this is not being escaped. We're still in the string. Well, no, but I thought that it would actually print out the quote and then we could do oh I see what you're saying. But the first flash is the main So that thing. one. 2% okay. left. Oh, no. oh come on. Sad. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Wait, oh shoot. Oh no. Now we're dead. So wait, did you did everyone do JSON? I don't think everyone did it. I got it. Who okay. didn't do JSON? You never got it? We all did it. Okay. JSON. Yeah. JSON was cool. Uh, yeah. I use script tags. Yep. Hey, same. Yeah. So, super cool is that script tags will, so we've got to remember that the HTML ha parsing happens before the JavaScript parsing. So, the HTML parsing parses this script tag, and so it says, okay, how far does this tag go? Well, it goes until it sees a closing script tag. So, we, at this point, because the JavaScript code in between the script tags has not been parsed yet, so this JavaScript code that's here does not get parsed. And actually, the, due to the way JavaScript works, if 
one part is syntactically invalid, the browser ignores it and will just go on to the next script block. So the second script block will alert this. We can use the slash slash here to comment out everything that happens afterwards, so that's similar to SQL injection. For Adobe, you can use something similar to this. 